Hey people, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Today's video is very relaxed here on the couch. Um, you ever just have one of those days where everything seems to not really go the way you thought it would go? Maybe you don't get along with people as well as you wanted to and um, you know, you might be trying to do some thought reprogramming like I am and notice like you just have a bad day with it and um, you know, you like have a lot of negative thoughts and even though you normally are pretty good about pivoting, you know, some days you just can't, you know, so that brings me to our topic, which is surrender and how important it is to realize that sometimes you just kind of got to go with the flow and that is also the case with emotions so when you find yourself feeling really down in the dumps or really angry and even though you want to be able to flip it to a positive mindset somehow you just are not there and you can't do it and maybe you can't even flip it to a neutral thought because that's you know the next best thing when you can't flip it to a you know something positive um and that's not to say to lie to yourself that's to say to like really actually look at it and see if you can see it from a different perspective somehow <coughs> excuse me but if you can't do that then you definitely have to just surrender and try to look at emotions like they are clouds passing in the sky um, and don't take them too seriously, you know, because they are going to go away. And in fact, um, I heard about a study that says that as long as you don't attach a story to the emotion, right, because like we feel the emotion, we get you know, our feelings hurt, let's say, and then all of a sudden we're telling ourselves the story like, yeah, well, that makes sense because, you know, I'm such a big piece of shit that <laughs> everyone hates me <laughs> or whatever. I always mess that up, you know, like that, that talk like, oh, of course, that that makes sense because I'm just not good enough in some way. And but if we don't tell ourselves that story whatever story it may be that starts spinning in our minds, then the emotion only lasts 90 seconds long. And so my advice to you is don't tell yourself a story about the emotion. Try to just notice it, be present with it. Don't identify with it. So don't say, I am mad. Don't say, oh, I'm so mad right now. Say, I feel mad right now. Or, you know, like, oh, okay, anger is here now. Like, a knock at the door <laughs> and you just you can't you know you can't just like turn it away because it's it's not going to go away so you have to invite it in you know invite it for tea and sit down with it and just be present with it and then let it go you know and actually a really great channeler on youtube melanie beckler um she says to uh, think of it like holding a pine cone. So, you know, you're holding a pine cone and like, imagine this is your thought, right? This is like the, the negative thought or whatever, or thoughts. So you're holding a pine cone. If you squeeze it, obviously that would really, really hurt. Right? So that's like our thoughts, you know, like we just, we squeeze onto it and we're like, and it just goes and goes and goes. But if you let it go, <laughs> be much better, right? We don't want to squeeze the pine cone. We just want to lightly grasp it, right? And like notice it and then psh, let it go. So that's it. That's my advice for you today is to surrender. Sometimes you just can't flip the mindset and you just kind of have to sit with what's there and not attach to it. Love you. See you tomorrow.